Hi guys, welcome to Quick Heal Baji Blast. I've got two guests who are very, very special to us and they are in India and they are loving the Indian food. Yeah, not so much. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's upsetting our stomach. Can't get comfy here, just a little bit. Something coming out? Yeah, just trying to hold it in, you know. What's wrong with you guys, man? You can't handle the spice, Baji. Can't handle the spice, man. From the north of England, we have plain things. Plain gravy, potatoes, yes. Potatoes. No, everything here is too spicy. I don't mind a little bit of spice, a little bit, but in my omelet, I don't want spice in my omelet for breakfast. Normally, what you know, people come over here, they love Indian food, they love our culture, they love to see things around. But you guys seem to be struggling too much, man, with the, with the food. So, what what do you guys been eating over here? Well, in Kolkata, I reckon I had six six pizzas in about six pizzas two, two days. The oh. sportsman's diet. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I have a little bit of curry, a little bit of curry. Yeah, you can handle spices. Yeah, a little bit, not too much though. It's funny you say this though, but I remember Kolkata, that someone else had a dodgy stomach there. Yes, that was me. You know, we were talking about that, oh, I feel so sorry for you guys, this, that. And next day, I got ill and these guys were fine and we were sitting in the same restaurant. We had the same little things. So that means I'm English as well. So you're English now then, right? Yes. We need a spinner, actually. We play India this summer, hopefully you can give us a helping hand then. Sure man, I can come and play a couple of test matches for England. Oh, how was your experience David, playing over here? In oh, it's been brilliant. Um, you know, the fans are uh, incredible. They're crazy about the game and to, to play in such a, a big competition with guys like yourself, um, you know, it's a great experience for us to come over and play in different conditions. I can't believe how full the stadiums have been. Like every, every stadium we've gone to, the stadium's been packed out. And we're very lucky, I think, with Chennai that every stadium we go to, there's yellow everywhere. So even when it's an away game in England, you wouldn't get that. It almost feels like do a home you, game. Do you guys feel fans over there and fans over here are quite similar? I think probably the cricket fans here are, yeah, are, are more like in more passionate, yeah. It's unbelievable everywhere you go. You know, there's people waiting to just see the bus and taking pictures of the bus and things. It's incredible. When I first got here and people were asking for selfies, I thought, wow, this is fantastic. Phil, superstar. Thought, yeah, superstar. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. People actually know who I am. Um, but then uh, in the airport the other day, I've never seen anything like that. Those cameras being pushed in your face and things. Like that. And I said, I don't know how you deal with it. I mean, I remember speaking to you and you were saying, look, it's just the way it is here. and. We, we, you You're have to engage to. with the fans and things like that. So. And you don't get that in, in England? Right? No, well we have football and like you say, the football fans are maybe the closest thing we've got here, but football fans in England, they'll, they'll sing and chant. Yeah, like you do. Yeah, like but the India fans here, yeah, you play songs before the game and they're dancing in the stands in 40 degree heat. You think you are more famous here or back home? Here, 100%. 100%. On Twitter and stuff, oh, we come over here, play a game and your, your Twitter following goes up a few thousand, just like that. What about David Willey FC on social media? Yeah, David Willey, See, he has David, David Willey FC on, on yeah. social media. Fan club. Fan, fan club. Yeah. Woo. I don't Already? Know who, I don't know who does that, but... I don't know how they get the pictures of you with your shirt off and stuff. Like yeah, that. some of them, yeah. I guess cricket's your number one sport, whereas in England, not, not so much, is it? Yeah, you can walk down the street in England and you, I mean, you can do pretty much whatever you want. You might get recognised every now and again, but in India, you, you get sort of recognised everywhere you go, which is, is nice. Um, on a personal level for me, um, I played the first match in Mumbai and it didn't quite go to plan for me, but the amount of support I've still had from fans is obviously, I could imagine for you, you've had it all, all your career, the, the sort of support gives you a lift and things, but, and you think, well, next time I get in the team, try and do my best for, the, for all the support that I've had. How does it feel, you know, to connect with the Indian fans over here? I think it's great and, you know, I think so much of the, the stuff on social media with fans is always positive. Um, whereas back home, you know, you go on social media after a game and you get a lot of abuse. Um, whereas here it does seem to be a lot more positive, which is, which is good. Is there any fan moment you guys have got here? A guy had a cardboard cut out of Dhoni and uh, he was holding it up to the bus and then as we turned the corner he started running alongside oh, yeah, the bus yeah, did, yeah. with a cardboard cut out of Dhoni and I was just like I don't know how Dhoni does it and there was this guy like, I saw that. painted his whole, his whole body <laughs> yes. in yellow and with Dhoni One of the other reasons why I've called you guys over here because I'm working for one of the channel over there Sky Sports this summer 
while India is over there. You know, I made my debut in 1998 and I couldn't speak a single word in English. And today I'm just trying to talk to you guys and understand, you know, if I can be good on Sky Sports and uh, as well. If this interview goes well, that means I should be okay. Can you understand me? Yeah, a little bit. I have to speak slowly, right? If you could, that's fine. But if you can't, then I'll anyways, you know, as you bounce, I'll just leave it. Strong accent from the yeah. north of England. Flintoff was like this. You know, I couldn't understand. He was talking to me for half an hour. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? Nothing. I didn't understand that thing. It the was uh, Hamison. Yeah, he's, he yeah, he's the same place, place from the same place. I don't understand you guys, but you're still better. I think, I think you do very well. Um, you know, as English people, we go everywhere around the world and most people can speak English. We're very lucky. So, you know, guys like yourself that can speak English as well, it's, it's can brilliant. Can you speak anything else, David? I can't speak anything, mate. I Nothing. struggle with English. Do you not do French at school or anything? Yeah, but I'll... Give a bit of French then. Bonjour. Bonjour? <laughs> so yeah. the best you can what does Bonjour mean? mean? Uh, je m'appelle David. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, oh, hello, David. <laughs> my name's David. So what is it? Bonjour. 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 Je m'appelle... really get the bonjour. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Marc. Je me tell pas. What? <laughs> what is it? Je m'appelle Marc. Je m'appelle Marc. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Habijan. Habijan. Je m'appelle Habijan. <laughs> is it correct? Yes, yeah, good enough, good enough. Yeah, yeah that's good fine. Enough. Any words in Hindi? Did you guys pick any words in Hindi? Uh, namaste, kaise ho? How do you say namaste? Namaste. namaste. No, don't shake your okay. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> shukriya, shukriya, thank you. Chalo? Chalo, no, we'll, we can't chalo now. We just, we just started. That's the, oh, but that's all I know. Chalo. Chalo? What do you like about India Is it since you've been here, apart from CSK and Chennai, you have seen other cities as well. Any, any city you preferred in India? Um, I'm actually enjoying Pune. You like, like Pune? Yeah, I'm liking it here. Um, we kind of base things on the hotels, don't we? Um, and sort of how comfortable, whether we get ill um, and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, so this, is my, this is my favourite. I've been, I've been good here. I've got to be honest with you, I, I liked, uh, is it Chand Chandigarh? Chandigarh, that, yeah, that, that Punjabi. Was, that was my, my favourite. I just felt it was, it was open, um, it was very clean and the people were lovely there and friendly. Um, whereas uh, Mumbai I felt was a bit more hectic and um, I'm, I'm not much of a city boy myself in England. I, pref I live sort of out the way in the countryside in the northeast, so uh, that felt more like home to me, the, the colours and stuff. That, that's another thing I've loved about India, the, the colours of things. So you mentioned the curries and things before, I think the colours of things here, the, the, you pass houses that are bright yellow, bright blue, the curries you have bright <laughs> yeah, red. Yeah. I think it's so dull in England, everything's grey. <laughs> and the culture here, is, it really is beautiful.